So shoot in RAW, right? You hear it all the time. And we shoot in RAW here also, and we also definitely recommend it. Well, what is RAW? RAW is the file, uh, like a digital negative file that you get when you take an image. A JPEG is really the common picture that people share online and things like that, but that's a processed image. RAW is basically a digital negative that contains all of the information from your original photograph. And the reason that we've been told all along that you want to shoot in RAW is because it contains all of that information. It contains all of the dynamic range and the latitude and everything that you originally took in your image is there so that when you want to edit it, everything is still available to you. Whereas in a JPEG, it's been processed already, so it may not have all of the information available if you want to make some changes afterwards. So the question is, is that true? If you Google, why do I shoot RAW? Why should I shoot RAW? That's basically the gist of it, is you want to be able to uh, get the most out of your image. You know, it's going to limit your dynamic range. It's going to limit the availability of everything to you when you want to edit your image. So my question was, is that really 100% true? And how much of a difference does it really make between shooting in RAW versus shooting in JPEGs when you want to edit your images? So what I did is I took the same image in RAW and JPEG, I'm going to process them in Lightroom and we're going to see how much of a difference there really is in colors, exposure, all different things uh, between the two images and how much latitude you really have in editing a JPEG versus editing a raw image. So the image on the left is the completed edited raw image. Uh, the one on the right is the original out of the camera raw image and you can see what a huge contrast there is uh, between the dark foreground and the bright sky and I kind of exposed to make sure that I didn't lose any detail in the sky. You can see the histogram here kind of takes us right up to the edge on the right hand side so we don't lose any of that cloud detail. Uh, the dark end on the left I'm sure cuts off some of the dark spots but I'd rather preserve the nice sky. But let's slide that finished image out of the way and look at our original raw image and our JPEG to compare. So on the left is the raw image right out of the camera, and on the right is the same version of that image in JPEG form. So let's see what kind of details and information we have here in the JPEG, and see if we can edit that to look just like the edited raw image. So let's start by bringing the exposure way, way down, and look at the sky, look at the detail in the sky. If I look at the raw file here on the left compared to the JPEG, right here where the sun is shining through the clouds, uh, you're losing a little bit of that detail uh, you can see where the, the highlights are kind of cut off here on the right-hand side on the JPEG. You still have that nice, bright, colorful sun in the raw image. So you're losing a little bit. If you zoom all the way back out, you can't see much of a difference there. But in that one spot, you can really see the difference there. Uh, these other clouds on the right-hand side here, you can kind of see a little bit of a difference, but not so much. Really just in that one bright spot where the raw image preserve those really bright highlights. But overall, the JPEG uh, does a pretty good job of capturing the, or retaining the uh, detail in the sky here. Okay, so let's go in the other direction and brighten it up and look at the shadowy foreground area and compare these two. If we look right down here where, I mean, it's really dark in these images, the originals. And yeah, of course, it's gonna be a little bit grainy and noisy down there because these are really, the really dark spots. And you can see there's a little bit more detail, a little bit more brightness left in the raw image on the left compared to the JPEG on the right. But again, zooming back out like this, you really can't see much of a difference between the two. And there's a little bit more of these highlights in the trees up here look a little bit nicer in the raw. The JPEG, you're losing some stuff over here, a little bit of the color also. So yeah, there's definitely a difference there, but not a huge difference. So let's really put this to the test though. Let's edit the JPEG using all the same adjustments that I made from the raw image and see if we can get the same final result. Again, the left-hand side here is the original raw image. The right-hand side is the edited raw image. So now let's apply those same adjustments to the JPEG. I'm gonna go into Lightroom in the Develop module. I'm gonna click on Settings, Copy Settings, Copy all of them, jump over to my JPEG, and then Paste Settings. And there we go. Now let's compare these side by side. Okay, so the raw image edited is on the left, the JPEG edited is on the right, and from this view, they look basically the same. Let's dig in a little deeper, see if we can see any differences in the details. Right in the center here, you can see when you really dig all the way in, and this is a 200% zoom. When you dig all the way in, you can see a little bit of 
uh, I want to call it digital artifacting on the JPEG on the right. It's not noise or grain. Uh, you can see it in this area here where it's really nice and smooth. And it's just a little, it's got a texture to it on the JPEG over here. So that's just got to be part of the digital processing. The colors here in the center look basically the same. Let's look at some of the other areas. Again, you're seeing a little bit of that artifacting, uh, that texture over here on the right on the JPEG. And I want to say the colors, some of the greens from the raw image look a little bit nicer, a little, a little more muted over here on the JPEG, but they look pretty close. The other colors though, the oranges, I want to say look really nice on both images. The blues look nice. Let's find some more green. Yeah, you can see these bushes in the foreground here. Uh, the green's definitely a little bit more muted on the JPEG. Now you might be able to bump that up a little bit more if you wanted to in the JPEG edit. Yeah, just a slight difference. Again, the greens are a little bit nicer on the raw. Uh, everything else looks pretty much the same, except for, like I said, that little bit of texture that you're getting on the JPEG. And again, this is a 200% zoom. So all in all, I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with the results from the JPEG, editing the JPEG versus editing the raw image. So that's pretty interesting. Definitely still an advantage to the raw file. Not a huge advantage, but definitely still an advantage there. We're gonna continue shooting in raw all the time here because we do you know, the deep dive edit from every single image. Uh, we would basically wanna start from scratch and kind of create that image in the way that we saw it in the moment, create it in Lightroom ourselves. If you're looking to just tweak an image, if you're looking to just maybe adjust the brightness of the colors a little bit, maybe you know fix something up in the image, but you don't really wanna do a lot of editing, Shooting in JPEG might be a really good option for you because it contains almost all the information there. It's, you know, if, you, if, if you're not doing a huge edit to it, then you know, letting the camera kind of make the decision. And you can preset in your camera, you, know, you can shoot in landscape mode, in portrait mode, and uh, the camera will basically kind of know what you're doing. And the more modern cameras now really have all the presets in there. They really kind of know what you're taking an image of before you push the button. So it's kind of doing the editing in the JPEG for you the way it thinks that you want it to be done. So if you're looking to do that and just make a few little minor tweaks in Lightroom afterwards, JPEG might be the way to go. But if you're really gonna start with a base image every single time and build up from there and do all of your edits on every single image, then RAW, like what we're gonna keep doing, RAW is the way to go. So I hope you found that interesting. I'll put links to a couple of other videos that we did here about shooting in RAW, using Lightroom, editing images, so you can check those out. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time.